All right, we'll open up with uh, questions. Uh, Marty, go ahead. Is there a mic or are we just. <laughs> Coach, an impressive win all the way around, but I would imagine you guys would be happiest with the effort on the defensive end, which really never let up from start to finish. What was it about the defense that uh, impressed you guys tonight? Um, that's really, I mean, what we've been trying to sell our guys. You know, if we want to be a team that takes a step forward, we have to have that type of defensive approach. Um, that first unit, from J.O. setting the tone on the ball to Cat and Jaden really being great at the rim. And just, you know, multiple efforts. Even when we turned it over, we raced back down the floor and made up for it and transitioned that, you know. And uh, we've been playing like that all, you know, pretty much all preseason. And to your point, we did it all all 48 minutes for the most part tonight. You know, so so uh, real proud of that. Chris, the, the night Ant had tonight, you, you, during the preseason, you were not – maybe concerned we were kind of egging him on to be a little more aggressive offensively. Did you see what you wanted to see tonight? And how much do you think he feeds off of a crowd and, and energizes his team and makes the way to tonight? Well, I think he, de you know, he definitely feeds off the crowd, definitely brings energy and then you know, gives it back. And uh, he, uh, yeah, he was super aggressive and we kind of knew he was going to be. And uh, you know, he's gotten that run there. His shots, he's really been shooting the ball well and in a great rhythm, uh, hasn't made it. You know, we said earlier before beforehand they hadn't made him much in the preseason, but in practice he's really been shooting the ball well. So it's good to see that carry over. Yeah, I mean it's um, you know take you know that moment in the second quarter just just kind of changed the whole game. Chris, uh, Houston plays a little smaller, but still just the way that you guys were able to control the glass yeah. it, it, as that a point of emphasis. I mean, what was the key to that? How encouraging is that? Um, Huge. I mean, we've, you know, we've talked about being a better rebounding team, being a better transition team, trying to get better on the margins here. And uh, I thought Jaden McDaniels was particularly strong on the glass and he's uh, it's a point of emphasis for him. He, he's only listed here at four rebounds, but he was up, you know, he got his hands on a lot more and kept him alive. And, but I'm really, really proud of the way he got back and got in the fray. And Cat, you know, obviously uh, did a good job setting the tone early. I think they only had three offensive rebounds at half, which was a big key for us. Yeah. Does the defense spark the energy in your mind, like off the bench and everything? It seems like that's what got everybody as fired up as anything else. Like yeah. Like block or something. The, the defense has basically been uh, kind of a – our personality through, you know, people get excited to watch others play D, you know, which is fun. You know, uh, it's not just all about shot making. And that's, you know, like so we talked about Patrick, who wasn't even here tonight, was been instrumental in setting that tone and J.O. And, you know, everybody's, you know, garden and ants garden better on the ball. It's just kind of contagious. So challenges now, we've got to keep it up. 18 rebounds is 13 blocks tonight. Um, do you feel um, when there people are flying around like that, is there the danger of over pursuing or over getting to that? Did that happen occasionally tonight, or overall do you just think it was pretty pretty much of a clean game? Yeah, I mean, listen, we like, I mean, of course, we made mistakes. It's a game of thousands of mistakes, but uh, they were all mistakes out of great effort. And there was hardly any mistakes made out of laziness or trying to shortcut. So we'll live with those, um, and then we'll try to clean them up and get better. But we, we've told our guys to, like, fly to the ball, just keep flying to the ball, you know, and make them make one more play. Uh, you know, some nights it's going to probably hurt us, but most nights I think it'll be able to carry us. Chris, you, you've talked about the, the high usage kind of scores you got on this team in that, in that first unit. It seemed almost slow quarter by quarter, Cat, then to Ant, then to D'Angelo. Is that kind of, kind of the, the nature of what you have? predominant scores like that, that it's going to kind of stagger out in that sort of way? Uh, you know, I, don't, I mean, I think that it's a bit of a luxury. Uh, it unfolded that way. Um, it was very timely in the doing so, too. I mean, our goal coming out of the second was to try to get D'Lo going. Um, you know, he, he uh, the foul trouble could never really get into a rhythm, but I was happy with the way he played in general. Like, and um, hit some big shots. You know, I think it was a little bit of a take turn night, you know, which we probably need a bit more rhythm. Uh, and that is still to come, I'm sure. We're going to work on that. Chris, when you have a 
Sure, Chris. When you have a relatively young team, you have a 27 point lead at the half. Did you see what you wanted to see from that? And I know the third quarter got off to a little bit of a slow start, yeah. but did you see what you wanted to in terms of, you know, keeping your foot on the gas and not letting them get back in the game? I mean, for the most part, I mean, we thought we, we had some letdowns and, of course, uh, some sloppy play to start. It's, you know, it's just fighting human nature at that point in time. But we were able to kind of right the ship a little bit, put some more distance in the game, and then, you know, it was kind of more of the same. Uh, Chris, you had 31 fast break points tonight and 38 points off turnovers. Uh, both of those numbers are better than, than I, anything you did last year in those two categories. And just how pleased have you been that, that the team has really been able to, to carry over the success that you guys had in the preseason in those areas into the regular season? Yeah, that, I mean, we were just talking about that as a staff. Like, the, you know, there's definitely some carryover from the things that we've been working on. And uh, we've been, we spent a lot of time working on our defense, just a lot. And, uh, you know, we got to get better in the half court. Uh, offensively, but if we're able to gen generate 30, night, 30 points a night on defense, which is probably a stretch goal, um, you know, we'll, we'll be uh, we'll be fine. We'll move to the Zoom. Lucas, go ahead. Uh, Coach, you know, obviously your your big three kind of lit up the box score tonight in terms of points, rebounds, and all that stuff, but it seemed like everybody that came in and played consistent minutes tonight uh, really kind of excelled in their role. Um, you already mentioned Jaden. Um, are there any other guys that you think stood out and had uh, particularly good nights? I mean, I thought Vando was awesome. You know, his just the energy and his defense. I, you know, I thought J.O. was fantastic. Like, he really kind of led the way right right from the get-go. I, I was, you know, everybody. J-Mac was, was super solid coming in off of injury. Um, Torian, you know, just, you know, I was happy with the entire, entire contribution. So, tough to single anyone out because one thing is these guys pretty much know who they are as basketball players and, when they when you have that, then it's easier for them to buy into the role. Leonardo, go ahead. Hi, coach. Congrats on the win, coach. The team had twenty five assists. That's the kind of offense you want to have this season. Yeah, I mean, this we we thirty uh, thirty assists is 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 uh, always our goal, um, but. Uh, you know, we, we, we normally will move the ball and share it pretty well. I thought, you know, I didn't think we played selfish tonight, but I thought the ball got a little sticky at times. Um, and, you know, like I said, our rhythm isn't great right now offensively, but we were, uh, you know, we're trying to do the right thing. So, Awesome. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, everyone. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks, Chris. Thanks so much.